Let's listen to how the kick and 808 are sounding before I teach you how to sidechain. Now, if you want to sidechain your kick and your beats to sound better in Air Force Studio Mobile, all you got to do is scroll down, click on the plus icon, then you click on Effect Track. You just hit right there. So now, once you click on Effect Track, the next thing you got to do is to rename it. Now, you come to Channel Setting, click on Channel Setting. Now, let's rename this channel or this effect as Sidechain. And once you do, you just have to click done and you've successfully renamed it as sidechain. Now, the next thing you want to do is um, let's go to the kick and the hero weight. Or better still, let's take this effect up. So let's just have all of them, the three of them in same place, the kick, the hero weight, and the effect. Now this is the hero weight. Make sure you're paying attention. Click on this icon at the end in here. Now you click on Add Send. Then you click on Sidechain. And once you click on Sidechain, you have to turn off those master button here. So just turn it off. Now you go to the kick, because this is the um, arrow. It. Now you go to the kick and do the same thing for the kick. And this is how the kick sound. So now to do the same thing for the kick, you just have to click on this ND icon also. Then you click on the Add Send. Then you click on Side Chain. And please don't forget to turn off the Master knob. Don't forget. So once you've done this, you've successfully linked the kick and the arrow weight to the same channel. Now what you have to do next is you come to the Effects track and you click on this ending icon here again. Now click on the plus icon. Let's add limiter to this effect track you see the limiter so now once you add the limiter you see this knob here the first one is threshold you use this threshold to adjust the threshold then you use this other one called release to actually release the base now this is what just listen to how i do it now You can hear how it's sounding now. You can hear there is a bit different from how it was sounding. I'll play the first one for you and I'll play the after for you. So you get the difference. So all you got to do is to adjust the knob till you get the side chain feel that you're looking for. Or you get till you get the side chain effect you need. So if you come to this, um, this is the arrow, right? This master knob is actually useless. Like I told you, if you adjust it, there is no difference. But you can actually use the side chain knob to increase or reduce any of the volume. If you want to reduce the 808 or you want to reduce the kick, you can use this knob for them. Now, this was how it was sanded before we added the side chain effect. After we added a sidechain effect,